Hello guys, I promised you the PHP calculator and now 2000 years later Video in the 100 PHP project series If you are new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe New videos uploaded every day So let's check out the demo Quick demo of this app we are going to be building So you just put in the, the values Choose your operator and boom It displays their value again Back up there the result in a beautiful green We are going to build out this UI And create the functionality using PHP Hope you are excited If you are, smash that like button and please please make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on anything after you hit that little bell it will promise you that you will never miss out anything and i promise once you hit that subscribe button you will never regret doing so okay boom so now i have this opened up in in visual studio code with nothing inside so what we're going to do is just use emet create a boilerplate i'm going to call this php calculator Hope you follow along, make sure you follow along to the last bit of this video. Don't skip any part and it will give you some essential skills in PHP, hopefully. So in the body, what we, we the basic structure is going to be the H1. And let's get a class of, let's say, hero. I just change this to HTML so that it's going to give me auto completions and snippets, the good stuff. So let's change it to a class of hero so that we can later access it and give it some styling. Underneath this, you want to just create a container. But first, let's just call this PHP calculator and add our favorite emojis. If you have been on this channel, you're used to this by now and you know how to access them. The window logo on your keyboard and the dots. Press them simultaneously and it will spawn you up some emojis. So what you want to do is to create the container. And in this, we're going to create the form. And for this form, we're just going to use get this time. Let's just change that to a capital. By the way, the auto completions are given by an extension called emails. If you don't already have it, or if you're using a different editor rather than VS Code, you should really get it. Emmet comes already built into VS Code, so you don't have to worry if you're using that. So this div called answer, we won't use it for now. So just leave it blank, create some break tags. Then we want to do the input type text, the one that will actually get the first number. And what you want to do is put the attribute name to text, which we we'll later access. This is very important. Make sure you do this. Then the placeholder we are going to place, enter first number. Make sure to name it number one, which we have abbreviated as num1. So name is num1, very important, because we'll use that to access using PHP. Put in some more break tags and the second input, just paste that in and change the name to number two and the placeholder enter second number. If you're getting value from this, make sure to hit that like button and I'll be really cheesy and happy. Okay, hit some break tags and then finally we just need the button. No, wait, the select tag. So just call that operator and forget about the ID. Just get, now we need some options. So the option one is going to be none. The value, let's just delete that. That's going to be none with a capital N. I just paste this about several more times and then just call this add then we change it to subtract multiply and so on and so forth okay html is pain okay let's change this to multiply then finally divide and that's all the no 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 we forgot our made with love by fortune langat which is me yours truly and also you and this is now your project now so what you want to do is create the button, which we also nearly forgot. With an input, the button type is going to be submit. The name is also going to be submit. And the value you want to also to try this to submit. So everything is just basically submit. There, then write type in calculate, set the calibrations. Then don't forget the made with love part because all these projects are made with love 
and if you wanna reciprocate that love just hit the subscribe button like whatever you can do just be fine with that let's put in our emojis let's put that love in there and then by just typing your name now okay you know what just imagine by the time you're done with this series you will literally have 100 projects on your portfolio i mean who wouldn't hire you after that so come on stick to this challenge and make sure you subscribe let's tell this up i'm going to speed up in this hopefully i'll be fast enough so that you don't really suck up the whole too long of a tutorial thing so let's create the container we want to display flex and let's give it some height and width the height we're going to do 550 pixels and the width let's do 100 percent hopefully i'm fast enough i don't want this to be too long and styling we really don't have to explain much flex direction draw if you're not familiar with css i'll drop a course one of these fine days so that you'll be fine let's align these items to the center and okay let's see how that works out not bad now let's style these inputs so to style the input we'll have to just type in form then target a specific part of the form which is the input the of type text and just open that up so let's just give some attributes the height 20 pixels the, i'm going to remove the border completely the outline i also has to go so let's give it first the border bottom of about two pixels solid crimson favorite color on this channel okay one last thing the font size let's give it about 20 pixels it should be pretty fine and the outline let's get rid of it completely so outline none and then what you need to do is copy this again let's see how that looks so it's perfect we are going to use a pseudo selector to check if this has been hovered some someone's hovering above this so let's do an input type text again then the pseudo selector hover and we are just going to change this to the color Just do border bottom to a pixel solid green and that's it so now we'll style up the select this is really basic styling i don't know why i'm talking should shut up now and that's we are almost done with the styling let's just do the button and it will surprise you how much styling you can do to a button so let's first start off with the height let's give it a height of about 50 pixels mm -hmm. so now we want and the font size to be nice and medium sized 20 pixels we also want the background color to be crimson and also we just need a border radius of none and remove that annoying outline so none too anything else we need the cursor to be pointer when someone hovers over it and one last thing do a book shadow great 12 pixels something really intense 3 pixels let's see how that looks okay it looks terrible let's try reducing that to one okay still looks terrible let's just get rid of the book shadow completely it's not doing much to help get rid of the box shadow then finally what we have to style is the hero which is the text that says php calculator so let's do position absolute by the way once you when you do this it really screws up with the responsiveness because the form will be responsive but the top text on mobile won't look that great let's just cut that out just for now because we're hiring this up Let's just use position absolute and style that then the answer we want to be a green like a bold green so let's do green for the color and let's change the font size 
and that's all the styling that we are going to need for this oh my god the footer so let's do position relative and let's just do a left of let's say 500 pixels let's do left 500 pixels and let's see how that will turn out okay there okay it's not that at the center let's add 50 more pixels to this and see how it turns out perfect but this is currently does nothing so let's write our php this is the part i'm so excited about it should be to i think that 35 percent just for perfection and yeah it's perfect okay now let's get back and write our php the, the div that we created the answer div and left blank that's where we're going to do the php so open up your php tags and what we want to do is check if the button has been clicked the calculate button and to do that in php we use an if statement so what we are really doing let's change this back to php is just saying if the button has been clicked run this code or get this data so well, we are going to ask php if the calculate button has been checked so this is if it's set if the button has been set we want you to get data from the get global variable and we're going to need specifically to check if the submit button has been clicked from that let's just create some variables to store the data we get back so result one it's going to represent the data we get back from the first input the first input so that's the first number so let's just pass in num1 and then close that up then let's do this several more times and let's change the value of the variable to result 2 and then pass in what we need from the form to number 2 then we also need what the, we get from the operator and let's just change the name of the variable to operator and that's it we have all our values nice represented in their own variables we can do an if statement for the calculation but really you just defeat the purpose and it will be just terrible workmanship so let's do a switch statement and a switch statement in php literally i'm going to explain this the simplest way i can let's pass in operator we're actually just checking if what what am i saying not if what we get from the operator which operator the user selects and this is user's case so the first case is the user selected none so what are we going to do about it let's echo to the user you stupid idiot okay no we're not going to do that let's echo you need to select a method and then yell at him severally and use some emojis to show that this is terrible and let's close that up then we have to break this like we're telling php okay you've done that now stop that case now look at this second case okay so let's just copy this down a million more times and let's just indent that make your code look beautiful because people who write messy php code are the ones who give php a bad name and if you write messy php code i will deny teaching you php okay so what you want to do is change the cases to what if the user types in a case like add so what we're going to do is use the result one which is the variable associated to the data we get back from the first input so the second case is add if we press add so we want to add them both so let we'll just say result one which is the input we get from the first number so the input we get from the first input in the form which is the user's first number we want to add that the user's first number we want to add that with the user's second number and just echo it out to the user so we're going to do that for all the cases except we'll just change the operator from addition to whichever he or she chooses so for this case he or she chose subtract so we're going to change the operator to a minus sign and you'll see that in a bit okay we forgot division let's just paste that in 
intended to division with a capital D. Divide, sorry. Okay, let's do the forward slash for division. Multiply, use the, the whatever the train is, subtract. And that's it. That's all you need to make a PHP calculator. Hopefully no errors here. Let's test this baby out. Give it a test drive. Okay. With put in a number, the second number, choose add calculate. Beautiful. Second. Let's choose nothing. And oh, you need to select a method. Stop yelling. We're doing it. So the app works perfectly. If you love this, then you're going to love the 90. 90, I think we are 92 remaining projects we're going to build using PHP. Remember to like and subscribe. I love you guys. I love your beautiful, aspiring developer faces. And I'll see you guys next time. From fortune to you all. Peace out.